Well, welcome back to part three of the cards I found in the attic series. My friends act be specific. So in this one, I'm going to be going over gym heroes and gym challenge, I believe is what the two sets are called because they both have like really similar symbols. Um, so it's a little bit harder for me to tell. And if I have time uh, or I don't fill up enough time, then I'll throw in another set for you guys. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So, and here we go. We got the double screen going so you guys can finally see the cards. Um, so as you can see, there's like a white one, which I believe is the gym heroes. And then a black symbol, which is gym challenge, I believe. I might be wrong, so you can correct me. It's fine. But let's hop into it. So you got your Blaine Charmander. Great start. Love him. He has such adorable art in this. And then you got... Kogus Pidgey, Lieutenant Surge's Rattata in both the Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge set, Surge's Raticate, um, Surge's Spiro. I don't know why they gave him so many normal types, and they give Koga a Pidgey, I just, I don't know, I feel like they're just kind of filling out stuff, it was kind of weird choices they were making, uh, got both versions of Lieutenant Surge's Spiro as well, Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, Rock Sandrew, which makes a little bit more sense, but not quite there. Then with Giovanni's like Nidoran male, like it kind of makes sense. Like Nido King is a ground type, which I do have the Nido King for gym. <sighs> for one of the sets, and he's hollow, which is nice. Uh, so you got Blaine's full picks, not Brock's. Oh, but there's Brock's full picks. Uh, by the way, the back of the Nido King card is pretty good. I think it might have a little bit of edging, but that's about it. The, you got Brock's full picks, uh, Blaine's full picks from both sets, Brock's Zubat and Goldbat, Erica's Oddish. Uh, also got. Oh, interesting. Okay. So Erica's Oddish actually has um, two different prints of uh, uh, art in the same set, actually. I think it's both Jim Heroes is the white one. Um, but then you got Erica's Gloom that also had a double print in the set. And Erica's Vile Plume, which I believe, yep, both of these are holographic. And both of them look really good, actually. Um, then you got Sabrina's Finonat, Misty Psyduck, Sabrina Psyduck, Misty Psyduck from the other set. These sets are so similar, so it's really hard for me to tell the difference because he's separated them with just like a white and black symbol not enough anyways brock's mankey blaine's mankey blaine's growlith uh it also got a double set in the same double print in the same set misty's polywag uh those are actually two different sets man this is so confusing honestly like just looking through this Misty's Poly World, that's our boy. Uh, Sabrina's Abra, uh, different sets. Sabrina's Kadabra, Giovanni's Machop, Erica's Bellsprout. Uh, that's another double print that Erica got in one of her Pokemon in the same uh, set. I don't know why. You guys can tell me why in the comments if you want to. Um, then we got Erica's Weeping Bells. Erica's Victory Bells, which you do have a first edition, um, one from there in Gym Heroes. Uh, Town Hall Graphic, but I don't know if it's supposed to be either. Then you got Misty's Tentacool, Brock's Geodude, uh, he got another double print. He's another person who got a double print of different art in the same set. Uh, Brock's Graveler. Oop. Sabrina's Slowbro. Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite. Those look like they should be holographic, honestly. Misty's Seal. Uh, man, I mix those up very awkwardly. I had like these two next to each other so I didn't get confused because I get confused so easily. I feel like I'm talking so loud in the mic. I'll figure it out. Misty's Shelter. Belaine's Ponyta. Sabrina's Ghastly. Barak's Onyx. Sabrina's Drowsy. Uh, two different sets right there. Uh, Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb. I feel like I had that earlier for some reason. 
It was just been a lot of surge stuff very early on. Uh, Erica's Execute. There's no, another double print of different art for Erica. Same set. Um, Erica's Executor. Koga's Weezing. Uh, Brock's Rhyhorn. Also another double print. Brock and Erica get all the love, I feel like. Erica's Tangela. Blaine's Kangaskhan. Tank like they didn't have enough fire types. They had a lot of fire types. Misty's Horsey. Uh, Misty's Goldeen. Misty's Seeking. Misty's Star You. Misty's Star Me. Sabrina's Mr. Mime. Lane's Tauros. Lane's Tauros again. Sabrina's Porygon and Blaine's Moltres, which is a holographic one and looks very beautiful. Um, I think the card is a little bit uh, worse for wear though, as an overall. So it's more of like just a really cool one that I'm kind of holding on to. But then we got our trainers here who I think have their own holographics, yeah. Like this Misty one's nice holographic. So we're just gonna go over their names real quick because you guys can see them. And if you play Gen 1 um, in any of the 13 games it's been in, then you know who the gym leaders are. So, you got your Misty, your Brock, your Erica, your Blaine, your Lieutenant Surge, your Misty again, your Misty again, your Giovanni, your Team Rocket Training Grounds. Training Gym, my bad. Training Gym. Celadon City Gym, Cerulean City Gym, Erica's Perfume, another Cerulean City Gym because I don't know how to organize properly. Minion of Team Rocket, Misty's Wrath, Sabrina's ESP. That means psychic abilities for those who don't know. Recall, Secret Mission, Vermilion City Gym, Belaine's Gamble, Energy Flow, Misty's Duel, Viridian City Gym. Uh, by the way, if you guys think I did this in a weird order, this is how the set has it listed out in the order. So, um, Narrow Gym, uh, Fervor, sorry, I was gonna say Fever, Fervor, uh, Sabrina's Gaze, Transparent Walls, Trash Exchange, that's Zubat, Zubat's not trash, you're trash. And that's it, okay. Anyways, um, I'll make this video a little bit longer and we'll go ahead and do the next set, which is Rocket, so let's do it. And before we start, I just wanna show this off real quick. Uh, this is like a little art thing I did back in like probably the second grade where I tried to make a little Zubat and I did so bad at it, but I still love it and um, it was held on to for all these years, so it's a lot of fun. Um, but let's go ahead and get in the set, because that's why you guys are here. Alright, so we got our first edition Charmander Rockets, very nice, very nice. You got your Dark Charmeleons, you got your um, first edition Dark Charizard, uh, and a regular Dark Charizard, but with Hollow. Uh, the a very unfortunate thing though about this first edition Dark Charizard right here is it is peeling right here in the corner. I'm gonna get it nice and close for you guys. Yep, it's just peeling right there in that corner and it basically destroys every bit of value this card would have because it is in pristine condition otherwise. Like, the holographic is pretty good. Uh, even the edging is good, but just that one corner from the years of um, it being up in an attic just kind of destroyed it. So yeah, trust me, like that was one of the first things that I really noticed um, when I was there and I was like, oh wow, that's pretty cool. Let me get that. Um, but yeah, but I do have a regular one that is in really good condition. It's just not first edition. So, and you do have, I do have first edition Squirtles right here from Rocket. Very nice, very nice. Dark War Turtle, Dark Blastoise, not first edition, but he is hollow and looks great. Your first edition Rattatas here in Rocket. That's regular, first edition Dark Raticate, first edition Ekans. I'm just gonna say first from now on because I, I know there are a lot of first in here. Your first, your regular, your first um, Dark Arbox. Uh, that Arbok has like a coffee stain on it or something, but still nice. Your first Zubat, your uh, Dark Gold Bat, your first Oddish. Um, your Dark Glooms, your Dark Vile Plumes, first edition, by the way, just so you know, because, uh, you know, you can't read, apparently. 
there's that little stamp right there that guy right there he's there anyways first diglets uh your dark to trio your first meow regular meows uh your dark persian your first psyduck your dark gold duck your first mankeys uh your first dark primeape your first abra uh your dark alkazam your first dark cadabra your first dark machoke your first slow pokes your first ponytas uh your first dark rapidash your first magnemites your dark magneton hollow which is just great art they nailed it um your first grimers your first dark mucks your first drowsies your first full torbs your first dark electrodes uh i thought that was hollow but it's not your first coughings more coughings your first dark wheezings your first magic carps your first dark gyaradoses non hollow not all your first eevees your first dark vaporeons your dark jolteons your first dark flareons your first porions your first ratinis uh your first dark dragonair and your dark dragonite i can be very proud of a lot of those because they are just first editions and that does increase the rarity of them a lot and i don't know how much so that's some i do want to know more about but first we'll go over trainer cards because that's what i keep doing uh your rocket sneak attack uh here comes team rocket your digger uh your challenge that's an exclamation point so i'm sorry challenge anyways uh imposter oaks revenge coming back from the first uh base set night garbage run actually i think it was base set two he existed in uh your goop gas attack uh your sleep some of these are also first edition but i don't um, care quite as much about trainer cards uh your energy that i full heal energy i think is what it is your potion energy they're kind of hard to read oh that's it okay um so obviously that's it had a lot more first editions in it which um is very nice so if you guys know more about this than i do um i'd love some info about um i guess potentially what i should do with cards you know if i should send them away or if i should hold on to them um but until then we'll be coming back with one more part of cards i found in the attic so part four is gonna be the final part and i will be back hopefully next week with it so until then be safe and have a good night